The Sentinel update has arrived and it's brought new weapons, technology, enemies and more. It's a huge update so in this video we'll just focus on the new weaponry and tech with what is new and how to get it. First of all is the Incinerator, a flamethrower weapon that teased itself in game quite some time ago, potentially by accident but was removed due to intense flashing lights. Though that is now fixed, the Incinerator blueprint was not available to purchase from the Anomaly but was available to install in creative mode, so I'm unsure if there's a special way to obtain it now, as there is an enemy using it. Of course be warned this video is full of spoilers for the new stuff. This new enemy is a new sentinel mech, it's pretty badass really, and nice and tanky, but we'll get to the enemies in the next video. Next up is the star new weapon, the neutron cannon. This beast can be shot as a low power quick shot weapon, or charge for a whole lot of area damage. You can obtain the blueprint for the core Neutron Cannon module and its upgrade from the multi-tool research on the Anomaly. Other methods of obtaining it are not yet known. Upgrades can be found in the multi-tool upgrade vendor on the space stations and affect its speed, damage, bullet per shot count and area of effect. The speed on this really is nice as there's no need to lead your shots. Another new technology is the Impact Igniter blueprint for the Pulse Spitter. This adds a damage over time burning effect to your Pulse Spitter's plasma rounds. The base damage it provided is 80 fire damage with a fire duration of 4 seconds. I'm not certain yet whether this is 80 damage over 4 seconds, or 80 damage per second for 4 seconds, or even 80 damage then some damage over time, as one of the mech technologies doesn't mention damage. It's also unclear whether these dots will stack, dot being damage over time for any non-MMO players. This blueprint is also found on the anomaly. Next is the Waveform Oscillator, which is a Blaze Javelin blueprint upgrade, adding a stun effect to the shots from the Blaze Javelin. The stun has a duration of 5 seconds and can likely stun lock your enemy while setting off consistent high damage from the sniping weapon, though the potential to be overwhelmed is now higher in this update. As with the last few, this is blueprinted technology so it can be obtained through the researcher on the anomaly. There is also the Paralysis Mortar, a new version of the Plasma and Geology Grenade Launcher style weapons. This non-lethal variant will stun enemies in range for around 5 seconds, allowing for you to just go nuts. The range is pretty great too, similar to the Plasma Launcher, you can get this from the anomaly. Next is the Cloaking Device, a secondary technology on your multi-tool that will make you invisible for a short time, just a few seconds, but this can be enough to hide and more. It's very effective and will make Sentinel search for you, also obtained from the anomaly. Then there's the Voltaic Amplifier, a multi-tool attachment that adds 21% extra damage versus stunned enemies. This makes stunning your enemies a very good tactic. They aren't firing at you or repairing their allies and are taking higher damage. Once again, you can get this from the researcher on the anomaly. More for tech are the new Sentinel upgrades. These are available for Exocraft and Multitool currently. I've gathered about 20 so far and not seen any for ships, Exocraft or Freighter. On the multi-tool, these are simple and cover damage, fire rate, reload time and potentially others. These stats are applied over all weapons and I'll have to do some looking into them to see how they calculate, but I have a feeling they are going to be supremely powerful for min-maxing. For exosuits, so far I've seen them have shield strength, life support tanks, sprint distance, solar panel power, core health and fuel efficiency. I won't know the full extent of their capabilities until access to the game files is regained and with that you can expect some in-depth tech guides, perfectly timed with my new series. An interesting note with the Exosuit Sentinel class tech is that they appear to not have a static group and instead gain the group or groups of the tech that the stats they have usually belongs to. By this I mean that if one only has life support tanks and the other has shield strength, they won't give each other adjacency, or at least the border won't appear. But if they both have a stat group in common, they will, and I would assume that applies to all present on the module if active. But more testing needs to be done here. Continuing with new tech is the Sentinel Mech hardware. There are four new technologies for the Exo Mech. The first is amazing and can be purchased from the Exocraft researcher on the anomaly. This is the Minotaur AI pilot. This piece of tech will give your Exo Mech an AI controller that will essentially turn your Minotaur into a combat ready robot pet who will fight with you and follow you around. When you enter the mech, this is of course disabled. It's really good, it fights quite well and does substantial damage. I think it's a safe bet that the damage it does is based on the tech you have installed, so upgrading your Exo Mech is certainly now a very worthwhile thing to do. On top of this, there are three other technologies that are essentially Sentinel tech ripoffs. So in your travels fighting the Sentinel scum, you can obtain these blueprints. 
I haven't been able to get them myself yet, but I'm quite certain they are gained in one of two ways, either from destroying nodes at Sentinel Pillars, or by completing the new Sentinel base questline started at your settlement. The first of these new tech is the Sentinel hard frame left arm. This gives an insane 400% damage to stunned enemies. 62% damage to the mining laser power, enables post-impact ignition, and mentions the impact fire duration as 4 seconds. It does not mention an impact fire damage, so either the dot and that stat are separate, or the tooltip can only show 4 stats at once. You know, some kind of other bug. Next is the central hard frame right arm. This replaces the mech's right arm and gives you a stun weapon. This is essentially the paralysis mortar for your multi-tool, but on your mech. It's a snazzy weapon and paired with the 400% damage increase, incredibly deadly. Lastly is the Sentinel Hardframe Legs. This is an engine blueprint and will reduce your mech fuel usage by 11% and boost the fuel tank size by 25%. The Hardframe Legs share adjacency with the engine group modules and the left arm shares adjacency with the Minotaur's laser systems, so some great room for bonuses there. I hope this was helpful folks, there's a whole lot to this update, especially for a numbers guy like me, so more coming for what's in the update and then some in-depth action on how it all works. Have a great night folks. Mm -hmm.